What I want to focus on today are fears. And the five fears I talk about in the book are fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of success, fear of judgment, and fear of change. Those are what I feel are the five universal fears. So today, it just seems natural, obvious, that we talk about fear of change, right? Now, when I mention those five fears, I'm not saying we all have all five of those fears. Perhaps we're just dealing with one or two of those fears, right? Maybe we have a combination of a few of those fears. So, um, and, and like I said, we'll talk about those fears in other calls, but with what's going on in our lives today, fear of change. I think we really need to drill down. And so I'm going to do my best to drill down and support you. And I love that you are sharing your thoughts about how you're feeling. I think that's important for everybody watching and everybody listening. So thank you for doing that. Okay. So first of all, I think for many of us, let's just try to figure this out and think it through. We like the status quo, right? We like cruising in our comfort zone. We like our habits. We like our rituals. We like our sameness. You know, we define ourselves in a certain way. We like when we're competent at something. We like when we feel that we do something well. We like that people recognize us as, hey, she's the doctor, she's the accountant, she's the speaker, she's the nurse, right? We like that we have created a certain reputation, okay? All these things are are comfortable for us, which is why people stay in the status quo. It's fascinating, even when people are miserable, they're going to stay in the status quo because things aren't miserable enough. Right. I think that is and does play an important part of fear of change is that things are good enough. Right. We're not uncomfortable enough. And this leads me to this whole topic of settling. I'm not going to talk about it this morning, but I've done a lot of speaking, a lot of writing, a lot of thinking, a lot of self-evaluation about how we tend to settle in different areas of our life. And so. Coming back to fear of change and coming back to what's happening in our world today with the coronavirus, this is our current status quo. Whether we like it or not, it it is. <laughs> and it is forcing us to change in a variety of ways. It is forcing us to change. So the question becomes at least for me, you can find your own question. So the question becomes, number one, will you choose to change? And will you make it easy? Or will you make it as absolutely difficult as possible? (laughs) That really seems to be the choices, at least for me. Now, occasionally, or think back over your life, we hear people say that they want to make a change and yet they don't do anything about it. Right? How often? Like in our, for the direct sellers watching today, how often do we hear people say, I'm going to do this, and yet their actions don't match their words? Right? And I try to make sure, like I'm always self monitoring myself too, to make sure that my actions are matching my words. But, you know, even on homestay, it's kind of interesting. What do you keep saying that you're going to do that you're not doing? This is really fascinating. I want you to sit back. Now, here you are in homestay. Now, some of you um, are working your job from home. You have the kids. You have the spouse. Some of you are, are entrepreneurs and you have your own business that you have historically been working from home. And yet you have the kids home and the spouse home and whatnot. Then you have people like me who live on their own, me and my cat. And I've historically worked from home. And so people keep saying, oh, you have you must have so much more time now. And I just laugh. What makes you think that? (laughs) I don't have so much more time now. I'm busier than ever before. And yet it begs the question, we are on homestay. We've talked on other calls about creating virtual, you know, happy hours and community and maybe crafts that we want to do or, or things that we want to add or tackle projects that we always like I want you to ask yourself have you been saying while you're in homestay I'm going to do x you fill in the blank and yet you're still not doing it for whatever reason 
I know our days are full now, Jenny. I agree 100%. But it's just interesting that even homestay, even though we're super busy, but we're always super busy, we're still doing the same thing. We're still in that same habit, right? Is I'm going to do this, but I don't, right? Risa talks about, I don't think I've really had to define this as fear, pretend to worry is it may be a form of fear. Yeah, I think worry and fear definitely are in the same family, Risa, for sure. Worry, anxiety, definitely, which is a really super good point. So let's ask, why is change so difficult? Like, why is change so difficult? Because we focus on the negative aspects of change.